welcome to another episode of A to T Bakers. This episode, we are going to be making lemon cake. It's like a lemon bunt cake. We're using a bunt cake, but if you don't have a bunt pan or anything, you can use a regular cake pan. We're just choosing to make a bunt pan. Because it's a bunt cake, but... It's proposed to be for a bunt cake, but if you don't have a bunt pan, then you can use. Okay. Okay, so some ingredients that we're going to need. Yep, we got a produce delivery and we had these lovely lemons, lemons in them. And so that's how we ended up deciding on making a lemon bundt cake today. Yep, so we're going to need lemons, obviously. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're going to need some eggs. You're going to need apple cider vinegar. You're going to need applesauce. You're going to need baking soda, salt, butter, and we are using the country crock plant butter like we always do for this. We're going to need granulated sugar, which is heavy. We actually need it this time. Right. Oh, that's good. We thought we needed it. We didn't. We're going to need powdered sugar. Mm, and the sugars are for the next steps, which is the glaze and the frosting step. There's no sugar actually in the cake. Yeah, that's why we're going to use the applesauce instead of regular sugar in the cake. It'll make it moister and it won't cause a sugar overload. Nope. We're going to need flour and we are using the Bob's Red Mill flour for this. And then we're needing flax milk. We are using the Good Karma flax milk. So the flax milk and the apple cider vinegar. We are going to um, use these two ingredients as a substitute for buttermilk. If you can have dairy, then you can instead uh, use one cup of buttermilk for this recipe. But since we don't, we're going to be combining two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and um, one half cup and two tablespoons of the flax milk. Our first step, what we'll do is we'll put this together, that mixture, and we're gonna set it aside. It's meant to, the vinegar will, is really meant to, to thicken up the, the, um, the flax milk, so it might get a little curly looking, which is kind of what you want. You want it to be thicker. And before we get that started, look at our outfits. We are both oh, wearing right. heart teach tie-dye. We both made tie-dye and we're, they have yes. hearts on it. We had another, we, we uh, had a family tie-dye event. The boys left us very soon on, but we ended up with very lovely matching heart tie-dyes. Hers is like half a heart mm -hmm. because half of it is like white. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I guess the, the dye didn't go all the way through on my side. Mine is orange. No. All right, so we're gonna get started, and we're gonna make the um, butter, our, make our vegan buttermilk with the flax and the apple cider, like I said. And we're also going to zest. That's uh, my son's obnoxious phone ring in the background. If you heard that, the duck quacking. Uh, so we are going to zest the lemons and then juice them. So we're gonna need lemon juice for several parts of the recipe. Um, so what we're, we're gonna do is we're gonna juice two to three lemons, depending on how much juice we get out of it, into a bowl and then set it aside and we'll take tablespoons out of that when we need it. And then you need to zest um, to get approximately two tablespoons of packed, packed tablespoons of lemon zest. One thing is, is that, you know, they make real zesters and we don't have one of those. So we're gonna use our cheese grater, which is our smallest whole uh, grater that we have. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then we'll come on and tell you the next step. Very, very 
gross. So well, it's the vegan version of it, but it will be chunky, chunky like and So just bleh. yeah, just let it sit to the side. It here. would be very very chunky. And That's we'll get, what it's supposed to do and we'll it's get back gross. to that soon so we have a bowl of our lemon juice which we will we're gonna take tablespoons out of for future and then all of our lemon zest so it smells really good in here right now um we oh, forgot because we always forget to do what edlin preheat our oven preheat our oven so we need to preheat the oven to 325 350 depending on your oven i would go with 350 um I'm probably not patient enough to let things bake at 325. And this is the one time where we didn't preheat our oven and then oh. tell you later. Now we actually it forgot now. this time. All right, it's preheated <laughs> now. It's starting now. All right, so next we're gonna put together the dry ingredients, okay? Yep. So we need three cups of flour. And then we forgot to tell you earlier, you need xanthan gum. If you're it's, using this kind of flour. If you're using, if your gluten-free flour mix doesn't have any in it, so we're gonna need to add um, 3 4 teaspoon of xanthan gum. But if you have um, flour that has rising ingredients in it, then you don't have to do that, but ours to does not. Yep. And then we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. Salt! And a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Don't, don't as Adeline can tell you, what would happen if you overdo the baking soda. Yeah. We found out in a previous video what happens if you overdo the baking powder. What happens if we overdo the baking soda? It would taste very bad. Yeah, it gets a bitter. Taste. I did the science experiments, baking yeah. powder for baking soda. You do not want to overdo any baking yeah, soda. Yeah, you don't want to <laughs> do that. So, all right, we're going to mix the, our dry ingredients together and then... So once you're done mixing together your flour and, and or or not, the anthem gum, it should look like that. Yep. Ours is a little darker because we used darker flour mix, so it depends mm -hmm. on your individual flour mix, how dark it would be, yep. but. So you're gonna set that aside now and you're gonna get back your buttermilk uh, mixture, our flax milk. Chucky and buttermilk. Flax milk and apple cider vinegar, and you're gonna get your zest and your lemon juice back out. You're gonna take two tightly packed tablespoons of lemon zest, mm -hmm. and then two tablespoons of lemon juice. You're gonna mix it into your uh, flax milk mixture here, and then mix it up, and then you're gonna set that aside again. And then while you're doing that, you're also gonna start feeding two sticks of butter. Okay. If that was me, I would definitely be capable of remembering all that. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to learn. So that. we're gonna work on that, and then we'll come back to show you the next steps. All right. So next, we need to add the applesauce in. You could use sugar, but there is so much sugar in the glaze and the frosting. Um, plus, the applesauce tends to make it a lot uh, moister. So we're gonna add two and a half cups of unsweetened applesauce. By the way, into our milk mixture here. By the way, this is where the the get, it gets a little complicated. The directions. Yeah, because it's gonna be a matter of that you're gonna have to add things in in a slow fashion. So instead of doing a lot of it on fast forward, we'll probably just go ahead and do it. Uh, live or recorded. I don't know. She calls it live, but it's really not live. I don't know, it seems live to me. But it's not live. No, so we're going to start by mixing up our butter and our applesauce together. Can I have to talk a little louder because now this is on. Sorry. <laughs> so we're going to mix that together. Um, you're going to want it to be really nice and smooth oh uh, together. If you're, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's going everywhere. <laughs> You want to put, your guard, on, put your guard on. Uh, we're gonna have to get apples off off the ceiling, maybe. Come on. Later. It happens. <laughs> It'll probably fall off eventually. Applesauce is not that. So you're gonna want it to be uh, well mixed together, and then we will slow the speed down for the next steps. Uh, uh, it's, uh, it's getting on my face. Well, why are you leaning over? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. So after this is pretty mixed together, which is gonna be in a, another minute or so, you're gonna yeah. have to add uh, three eggs um, into the mixture here. 
So you're going to want to add them one at a time. Uh, you don't want to, from here on out, everything has to be added slowly into the mixture, or otherwise it'll plump up and it'll be hard to break apart. Uh, so you're going to want to take your time. So I'm going to slow this down. That's speeding it up. That's speeding it, it up. It got on my nose. It got on my nose. Get them with the guard here for this. Yeah. Alright, so you're going to slow it down and we're going to hope it doesn't flash up at us. So we're going to add the eggs in. Emily, we need three eggs. Do you want to do those? Okay, fine. Uh, I don't want to go. Okay. Well, go ahead and add in three eggs. Don't splash on my face again. So you're going to do three eggs into the mixture here. And then after the eggs are nicely mixed in, then you're going to go back and you're going to then start adding in your flour and your um, buttermilk. Oh my goodness, I just got applesauce in my Ow! face. It got on my forehead! Okay, we're gonna I have more going. eggs! Okay, let me know when you're ready and I'll move it because I'm getting move out. It. I know. Let me know when you're ready. Move it. Okay. Good. 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 One of the things is that we're using, since we're using applesauce, we you can wash to our hands. reduce down. Um, we got to reduce down the amount of our buttermilk by about a fourth of a cup. So now that we've got the eggs and everything mixed up in here, we're going to start adding um, the flour first. We're going to try and get it a little thick, thickened up a little bit so it stops um, splashing us. Yeah, this is kind of a problem so here. So we're going to add about a fourth of our flour mixture into this. Okay, I'm back. Um, add about a spoon at a time. Spoon, spoon, spoon. Did I try? Um, you can do the next fourth. How was that? Okay, so after we got about a fourth of it into the mixture, and then don't worry, I washed these counters right beforehand. Uh, we have that mixed in, then we're going to go back to our, our mixture here and we're going to yeah. pour some of our uh, flax milk and lemon zest in, about a fourth. Then we're going to go back and add more of our flour mixture. And so you're going to keep doing that until it's all mixed up into a nice batter. Bunt pan. Uh, I don't know what inches it is. This big one. Um, and I, you can coat it in several different ways depending on um, what you like to use. You can use butter, you can use oil. We use um, cooking spray. I really like to use cooking spray because it's the fastest uh, and it makes a really nice coat. And I don't, with, if you have nice pans, it's usually not an issue getting it out. So I've already gone ahead and sprayed it. So now we're just going to pour it in Oops. evenly Oops. around the, the bunt pan. Here, you pour and I'll turn you that. You turn and I'll pour. So you're going to want to get it evenly distributed. Careful, don't pour it out. I won't. Getting very close to the hole. Uh, the I'm okay. The bunt pan. Um, Why do bunt cakes have holes? That's just how they cook, right? So it cooks all the way around the cake. Okay. Oops. So, oh. Yeah, you can turn it all turn. Okay. So that must fit. Be nice and thick. Here, and we're gonna So after you get it all into your um pan here. Um want me to turn it? Yep. There you go. You're gonna smooth it out. to bake. And we have a glob of butter that I found. I mean, it happens. It's a stand mixer. I could have probably, um, Ew, that's a big I know, glob of butter. It's a glob of butter. Uh, well, probably wouldn't have been worth it to, to check and make sure there wasn't anything stuck at the bottom of the pan, but eh, 
Yeah, I'm not in. It'll be fine. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, somebody likes butter. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like butter, right? You're plant butter. So then you're gonna bake this um, in the oven for about an hour. I would say it's gonna be between 55 and 65 minutes, depending on your oven. It's so long. I know. Yeah. So, so we'll go ahead and we'll be back after it is done baking. So our fun cake is done baking. Perfect. It is right here. Yep. It didn't take, um, it took about 52 minutes for us uh, for our cake to cook. So next we it's need little, to it's make- It's a little crispy, the, but it's good. Yeah, so I let it cool for about eight minutes or so, and now we need to make the glaze, and we need to get the glaze on while it's still very warm. So we're going to put one fourth cup of water, one fourth cup of granulated sugar, and uh, two to three tablespoons of lemon. Uh, we're going to boil that over on the oven, and then we'll come back and we'll glaze it. Okay, so ours is ready. We didn't do it on time left because we don't really need to. Uh, I didn't want to turn the camera around to my oven because it would have made it move the whole apparatus. Anyways, so- Apparatus? Apparatus is the thing that moves the camera. Oh. Anyways, so you now have your warm cake and you have your glaze. So it was again a fourth cup of sugar, a fourth cup of water, and two tablespoons of lemon juice. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a brush and you're going to make sure that you get nicely covered. Um, this a little closer to the cake. And I put some aluminum foil down under our cake because I fully expect that it's going to drip. So what you wanna do is you wanna glaze this whole cake around. Um, it will drip, but even that you can try and, and wipe it up. So you're going to want to cover everything and get it to seep in as much as you can into the cake. This is going to give it that extra sweet flavor so it tastes more like cake and less like lemon bread. And, and lemon. It'll and taste lemon. like lemon. Well it has lemon juice in the glaze so it'll just kind of kick up the lemon even more. Oh. Yeah. And it's gonna, it'll take a little while, but you're gonna get the whole, you wanna try and get this entire um, pot full of glaze into this cake. So you're probably gonna have to go around um, more than one time. You're gonna get on the sides um, and in the middle. So we're gonna keep glazing it and then until it's ready, until we use all of this up. for the top. Lemon, lemon, lemon. It's a lemon cake. So Still too much lemon. What you're gonna need <laughs> is one cup of powdered sugar um, and sugar. And you're gonna take two more tablespoons of, you guessed it, lemon. And you're gonna beat it together. <laughs> We're gonna use a hand mixer because I washed my blade for my hand mixer. Um, and then we will put it on the cake. Okay, so once you're done with your icing, it should look thick. It's Not too of, thick. Almost look like Elmer's glue. Actually? Yeah. yeah so put some up to like drip down. See, it's almost like Elmer's glue. But it so does not taste like that, we can right? tell you that. So this type of, of icing is one that you're gonna drizzle. 
So you're going to put some on your spoon and then you're going to just drizzle it back and forth over your cake. Do you want to do it? And be my guest. I mean, if you don't. Yeah, I mean, I don't trust myself with it when I'll try. Yeah, there you go. Go over the cake. Yep. Just drizzle it back and forth. This is thin drizzle, and that's thick yep. drizzle. Now, our cake is probably a little bit warmer than you'd want. Um, you really probably want to let it cool for another uh, 20 minutes or so, but again, we're a little impatient to wait, so. Well, this drizzle doesn't it's look good. Study. You should do the rest. Your I'm drizzle, not good at this. Your drizzle looks great. I'm not good at it. Just gonna speed up the drizzle a bit. Make it a little thicker. It really does look like I'm wearing glue now. I don't want to eat it. Good job, mommy. It smells fantastically lemony in our kitchen. Oh my god, yeah. So, I mean, this is gonna be. Okay, now we're going to cut it up and eat it, which is my yep. favorite part. We have finished the glazing process. It should form a nice hard cast on it. Ours, um, you can notice a lot of frosting <laughs> along the side because we really did not wait Oops. long enough for our bunt cake to cool down. So I got a little Whatever. extra. All right, so now. Well, right here, there's a lot of icing there. Time we've been waiting for. We're gonna try this. Finally. Oh my god, it's actually yellow in the middle. Yep. It's nice and yellowy. It looks nice and moist, which is what you want. Which one's the bigger piece? Uh, I don't know. I think this one's the bigger piece. That one, this one's the bigger piece, so. Okay. Give me the bigger piece. So, well, show them what it looks like. Alright, nice and moist uh, cake. So, let's give it a try. Give me. Mmm. Mmm, I just don't want to let me. It's so lemony. <laughs> but it's actually really good. No, it's good. It's, it's good, nice, but really lemony. It's a nice summer cake. I don't think it's too lemony at all. I think it's a little too lemony, but I think it's actually really good. Mmm. I think if you like lemon, it's not too lemony. I don't like lemon too much. Yep. All right, well, can you say goodbye to the folks here? Fine. And then can I finish my cake? Okay then. So thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment of what we can bake next. We'll try and figure out how to turn the comments on this time because I, I noticed that lately they've been turned off. We'll we, figure it out. We can't do comments. So um, if you know us, you can just send us a text or an email message. If you don't know us, we'll just try and telepathically figure out what you might want to eat. And there is a way to turn the comments on. We'll try and figure it out. We cannot turn the comments on. It's disabled because you are a child. That's how that works. Mm -hmm. So, no comments, but please like, subscribe our videos so that Evelyn, you know, continues to make us do this every week. Thanks.